There we go. La 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 la. Here we go. Thus the numbers. The people come in like a flea of mice. They all scatter about over into our corners. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> evil tails laugh. <laughs> yeah. Evil egg oh, man we laugh. Go. <laughs> oh, we got lots of people coming in to listen in. We have so wow. many people. Hi, everyone. So many lovely specimen. I should study all of you. All right, then. Anywho, I would like to welcome all of you to the Sonic Villains panel for this year's Sonic Revolution Online. It's spooky, but so obviously we're going to have some spookiness. And what's more spooky than villains? Huh? Absolutely. Uh, we're not here for that. And while we're here, why don't we introduce uh, each of the panelists that are here? Uh, we'll start with uh, Erin uh, Rooney up there. Uh, hello, Mitteroo Potatoes. It's a Red Rooney here. I am the voice of Tails and to call, and I am so excited to see all of you. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Arion, I believe your name is. Uh, want to introduce yes, yourself? Mary. Hello, everybody. My name is Arion, otherwise known as Me Tunes. I am the director, writer, lead artist on Sonic Villains. A 2D action adventure fan film of multiversal proportions. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. And next up, we have Nate Fernandez. Hi, I'm Nate. I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm the voice actor for uh, Norris Wimple, a character I didn't know existed until I got that role. <laughs> and um, and uh, King Acorn, which I can now talk about in Sonic Villains. Yeah. Sweetness. And next up, we have Ghost uh, Anjo. Hey, I'm Ghost Anjo. I'm the voice of Adventures of Sonic, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails, Deviled Egg, and I keep forgetting how to pronounce her name, but the Ghost Girl from a Sonic uh, Night of the Werehog. Night of the Werehog. Short. I think it's just Law, isn't it? Law. Just Law. Yeah, it's just Law. Law. All right. Uh, we also- can everybody hear me, please? I can hear you, Calypso. Right, here we go. I was having some issues. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry, it happens. And finally, our last panelist is Shibuyu. <laughs> Shibu. Oh, Hello, Shibu. My, sorry about that. My name's Shibo. Uh, oh, Shibo. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I'm a voice actor on this project. I voice for a. Am I allowed to talk about that? Is that cool? <laughs> you are, because okay, we will so, be bringing you up. Oh, awesome. So voice that voice uh, a little cameo sequence in the um, in Sonic Villains, and uh, you know I'm, it's pretty cool to be here. It's pretty awesome. Indubitably, uh, is that everybody? Did everybody uh, get a chance to introduce themselves? I believe. Uh, yep, 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 that's all of us. Indeed, um, we have. Okay. Great, great, great. All right. So before we start, we ask that you guys have your questions now. And ready so that when we call you, we can we can go smoothly and swiftly. All right. Yep. Yep. Indeed. We only got less than an hour. Yeah. All right. So I'll go first. Um. Let's see. Who do we have? Um. I will pick Sega Garfield. Sega and Garfield, a wonderful combo. Hello. Hi. And what's your question? And also, hi, Dolly. It's nice to see you again. Uh, hello, Sega Garfield. What's your question? <laughs> My question is for me, Tunes. Uh, for you're an animator, correct? Yes, sir. So, what was what's your biggest? Which animators were the biggest influence to you? Ooh, oh man, that's a good question. I don't think I've actually gotten that yet. <laughs> well, I think you know. I think we can just kind of run down the list of like probably most known or most typically assumed to least uh, the legendary James Baxter. A lot of you probably got, uh, know him yeah. as the animator behind a lot of your favorite 2D animated films and sequences within TV mm-hmm. shows. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, DreamWorks of Spirits, uh, The Lion King. Oh. In the Lion King, Sinbad. He was in. He did some Steven Universe. He was. He did the 
uh, the intro to Gravity Falls is is all him. Uh, I did oh, not know that one. Yeah, yeah. If you look, if you look, you can probably like look up some of his like early test footage for that. It's really, really cool to see. Just he he was really formative because he really opened my eyes to like the early stages of animation before it got finalized. Um, just the really scratchy pencils, and it helped me realize to you know you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know uh, that'll get cleaned up later. Um, so you got James Baxter. Uh, I guess storyboard artists count too. You know, a lot of creators are a lot of show creators are also storyboard artists, and there go they are also animators. Um, Pendleton Ward, creator of Adventure Time. Um, yes. uh, Rebecca Sugar herself, she was a storyboard artist on Adventure Time, and then created Steven Universe later. Um, mm-hmm. And you know. Uh, just as far as studios go, oh, I love the I love the work of Sony Pictures Animation, especially as of late. But also, I, yeah, I'm the original. As of, late. Mm-hmm. as of late, but I will I will stand to reason that I am the I am the OG because I was standing cloudy with a chance of meatballs as cartoonish animation before everybody else was. So <laughs> I'm just gonna put that chip yeah, on my shoulder there. <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> but yeah, I've had I've had some so many so many to to count and to name, but those are just you know a few sets of people studios off the top of my head that have just been really really formative for me. Hey, well, thank you answer, for answering my question because I I was I did talk to you before. Well, for a while, right, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Thank you so much for coming back around again. All right, <laughs> be my turn. Uh, let's go at the next person on the list. Uh, Zach Gamer two four seven. Apologies if I butchered that name. Come on up. Okay. Uh, um, hello. Howdy. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hey there. What okay. is your question? Um. So, what was it like working on Sonic Villains in the first place? You know, how did they all been conceived and stuff? How did it conceive? Uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll we'll go. Want to go like uh, uh, down to uh, Shibu? Just kind of like how we all ended up here in this place, in this very spot. Yeah. All right, so, uh, Aaron, you want to give it like a quick rundown? Wait, wait Aaron or or, or you? Who started? Because <laughs> we're going, <laughs> going, so going so confused. So confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Embarrassing. Uh, let's just <laughs> go with <laughs> Ariana. Or- there we go. All right. All right. Fine. I was trying to popcorn, but apparently the popcorn hasn't popped yet. Okay. <laughs> hey, <still laughs> what, what do you mean? We're, we're not even in the microwave. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Bag hasn't even bought well, yet, bro. I don't like. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I don't know about you. I accidentally put the foil one inside the microwave, so um, um, I don't think I'm gonna get popcorn in here soon. Oh Oh, no, he exploded the the microwave, not the microwave. All right, all right, all right, all right. right, right. Okay, so uh, obviously, we've done a lot of these and I've shared these the, the story before, but I guess long story short was is you know, yeah, I've been. Wanting to do animation for a while, I had started out um, publishing uh, my comic books, uh, just original indie comic books, when I was like 12, thanks to a publishing company my dad had found online called Kablam Digital Printing. Um, That was really cool um, because it really got my foot in the door when it came to visual storytelling on like a grand quote unquote scale. You know, I was publishing my work and I was lucky enough to have it in stores um local florida shops um and and that was really really uh just an eye-opening experience and then after i did that for a few years and then after a while i was like okay i want to get into animation now um and what better place to start than with our blue boy sonic you know he's just been formative for me uh since i'll say 2005 or so when i picked up sonic rush for the first time uh and just you know, long story short, uh, it was around the 25th anniversary um, of the franchise. I had thought about doing something small, like a little music video that just sort of 
celebrated as much as I could. It, you know, it was Sonic and like, you know, the main four, I guess, you know, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Amy fighting a slew of various villains from across the franchise, TV show, game, uh, whatever have you. Um, but eventually I was like, you know what? That feels a little too much to cram in. You know, what, what if we made it a, lo- a longer story? Um, and after a while, that snowballed and snowballed until eventually, you know, it just sort of came to be where it was just like, I want to do this because it'll make me a better storyteller. It'll make me a better artist. It'll give me a chance to work with a ton of amazing people. And it's just literally exactly what I've been wanting to do since I was a little kid. Just seeing those behind the scenes featurettes on like animated movie uh, uh, DVDs or VHSs, you know, just seeing the process unfold in, in making something has been incredible. I, I think it's just an amazing thing. So to be able to do it with this, with my love for Sonic has, has been so, so, so gratifying. Um, I, I can't say enough about it. Yeah, I have been I'm trying to book my way to, you know, being an artist and, and stuff, but I never truly had to find my footing, you know? Oh, but, well, hey, no, no foot to find other than to just grab a pencil or a digital program and just start. There is there's no correct way i feel like people get lost in that like they think that there's supposed to be some sort of correct start some correct jump start like there's there really isn't any just do you pick something you like and just start and also there are tons of tutorials online i think we take the internet for granted sometimes you know you really can just look up how to draw this and it can happen for you it can happen for any of you you know in the wake of AI, uh, you know, creeping its way in and out. I feel like a lot of the reason that comes up in the first place is because a lot of people don't know where to start, which is a very understandable thing, but you don't have to steal other people's art to do it. You know what I mean? So you really can just start now. It's, it's as easy as one, two, three. I, I guarantee it. Yeah. And I always thought that, you know, I just be worried that if I, Started, I, I would, I would fail miserably. But maybe oh, I just no. need I, to start. You know, yeah. Oh, please just sorry go. To, uh, sorry to cut in, but we really do need to get going because there's a lot yeah. of people. Oh yeah, oh yeah, shoot, shoot, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, but yeah, thank you. Don't let the fear of failure get you. It, it's it might happen and it might not, but that's why you just gotta go for it. Just try. Don't care too much. You got this. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks to all of you for answering my questions. No problem. Oh. Thank- oh, good um, words. Good words for all you artists out there. Yeah, good <laughs> words. Yeah. Uh, what's so? Uh, I think it's your turn to pick. All right. Yeah, it is my turn. Um, let's go with <laughs> Dre Thornton. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Okay. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey everybody! <laughs> hello. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing great. And hello, me tunes. We meet again. <laughs> meet again for the last time. Not really. <laughs> oh. What is your... <laughs> All right. What's your question? Uh, what's your question? Um. So my question is for the fan film, the Sonic Villains. Does this film or the fan film? Cause a multiverse. <laughs> oh, what? Just the existence of this fan film in itself create a? Are you? Oh, you're you're talking about like some quantum theory type stuff. Does the existence of this fan film in itself spawn a multiverse in itself? Yes. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I mean, if you're if we're going by quantum theory, every action that we take, an action that we don't take create some sort of alternate path. Um, So, and I think honestly, within the film itself, we are trying to, we're we're going as meta textually far as we can in a way that like makes sense, but is also really funny uh, and maybe even a little heartfelt. So like we're, we're doing what we can to be like, 
okay, yeah, if everything Sonic related exists and matters, then everything really does matter. Like we're talking like the YouTube page full of Sonic fan projects itself is a universe. Think about that. So, you know, there, there is no, there is no, there, there's no, there's no rejection of any idea, really. So, yeah, if I answer your question, absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, cause I like multiverse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it just keeps going. It's infinite. Ha ha. I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, this is making me realize this really is like everything is canon in the movie. <laughs> absolutely. We got full stock added. Added. Every, absolutely. There are no holes in the plot, just holes in your understanding. Mm, that's a By the way, Silver yeah, yeah. will still blame you no. for everything that's going on <laughs> in this future. That's a bar. <laughs> that's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch a break. I don't think he's ever going to catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> all righty uh is that uh your question Trey? does that answer your question yes sir all righty awesome. then thank you so much thank you bye, bye. 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 all right all right. It's back to you. all right the next up i'm gonna bring up number one logan shadow come up here and ask us a e question okay this is so exciting so my question to all of you, what are your favorite Pokemon from any Ooh. generation? Ooh. Do we just my, wanna like go down the list? Yeah, let's go down the yeah. list. Uh Andrew, why don't we start with you? My favorite is Arcanine. Mm. Makes sense. Oh, nice. Uh Nate. I have like multiple that are tied for my favorite, so I'll just quickly list them. Uh Gengar, Mimikyu, Jirachi. I'm forgetting the others. Uh, Cinderace. Uh, oh, I've ruined it. Okay, just go. Uh, <laughs> I'll be for a whole essay. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like five. It's not 20, I promise. No, no, no. <laughs> you mean like five squared or like, you know? No, no. <laughs> not five squared. <laughs> uh, All right, me too. Hmm. Mm. Are, are you still answering Nate? No, I'm done. All right. Me too. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, man. Uh, that's a tough one. I think for me, I'm going to go with Score Bunny just because I, I, he, he's a little guy and I love how rubber hosey he looks. <laughs> hosey. <laughs> All right. Uh, er- English today, Rooney. Yes. So uh, it's funny you ask this question because I remember like a couple months ago, I was going through each generation and picking my set of six per each generation. <laughs> but uh, instead of geeking out and nerding out, I'm just going to say one specific Pokemon that is Mewtwo. Um, I say that yeah. because since childhood, Mewtwo, um, this is so funny. Every time Mewtwo would leave in the first movie, tell me why I thought Mewtwo was my dad. When I was a child? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hold on. Um, like, oh, it is wow. so we funny. My, my friend yeah. Axel DK64, shout out to him. He was like, you know, it's so ironic because that's like the whole premise of Pokemon 3 is with Entei and all that. I'm just like, yeah, but for me, it was with Mewtwo. Right. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that my little brain. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Don't worry. Mewtwo is eternal. <laughs> Elmiana was so good. All right. Really and last is Shibu. Shibo? Uh, Sorry. Sh- Shibo. Nah, you're good. Um, favorite Pokemon? That's a hard question. Because I like a lot of Pokemon. But if I were to list maybe three that I really like, Pikachu, Lucario, and... It's on the tip of my tongue. Brain, work with me. Um, Infernape. Infernape. There we go. Mm. Solid answers. Solid answers. Solid. There's an objective quality to your answers. You're being judged. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, Logan, does that answer your question? Uh, yes, it does. Alright, then. 
Thanks so much. That was a fun one. <laughs> no problem. That was weird. Anyways, um, yes, it's back to me now. I am going to pick. Uh, I like this profile. I saw the show actually. Uh, we them. I think. Please. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Um, hello. Oh, hello. 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 Um, one t- one thing. First of all, I'm Brazilian and I'm still training English. I hope it's not oh, too no embarrassing, way. and I also hope uh, to understand it. Speak at least a little. Uh, I understand. Yeah. I understand you. This you will also pretty good my end. For, This will also su- serve as a form of challenge. <laughs> Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. You're doing, okay. You're doing great. You're doing good. You're doing You're good. good. Don't worry. I can uh, barely speak one language. You're speaking two, so you know. Same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And you would that. Uh, one of my fears uh, regarding the project is having a lot of villains and the fear of them not being used properly. In my head, the mm-hmm. film won't be longer than one hour or something like that. Uh, uh, just I'm sorry, apply to, to heroes. I'm sorry heroes. to cut you off real quick, but uh, we actually need you to add, like tell a question because we're on a time limit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, is it like is the question ha- like how to manage like all those all the different villains? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Again, that's a that's a that's Good an question. incredibly understandable. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. But yeah. That's that's incredibly understandable. It's it's you know it was one of the things I was thinking about like just the moment I was starting, um, just. As of right now, I'm not really too terribly concerned with with the time. Um, whatever the time ends up being, it will end up being. Um, I know some you know companies will try to be like like oh it has to be an hour fifty or an hour what da 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 because statistics state no 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 it the length will be the length that it is um, because I do want you know every villain to be utilized um, all all the main villain all the villains within our group have little arcs you know they all have little mini stories um within the overarching plot um and their existence within the plot is it it ties to the greater theme of everything mattering um you know they're all from different shows from different games from different books and with that in mind i figured it would be great to tell a story that kind of speaks to the fandom in itself you know the splintering of the fandom that's how you splinter the mult. That's how the multiverse happens. It is a splintering of different ideas, all derived from the same one singular place. That being Game Sonic, you know. Um, so through that, I think every villain will get used because they all exist to exacerbate the point that yes, everything is important. Everything matters, you know, because it matters to somebody. It matters to you, and you matter. So. I think that that ties everything together pretty well for every villain. Mm, uh, I think the fans uh, will. Uh, uh, oh, I speak that. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the fans want uh, their favorite villain to be more more time in the film. Or oh no, Scourge is, is just f- four minutes. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, don't, no, don't worry about it. They're all a part of like a, a huge group, and we'll see that group kind of evolve and go through their phases all the way up to the end. So no worries whatsoever on that. Understandable though, completely understandable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, alrighty. Uh, that's it. That does that answer your question? Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Right. I'm right. really neighbors. I'm. <laughs> it's I'm okay. You did awesome. Good. <laughs> you did awesome, Wayne. Thank you. Okay. All right. We really need to get going. So thank you for your question. Here's a secret. Thank you. I'm nervous too. <laughs> Just All imagine right, everyone in their underwear. No, <laughs> you. No, I don't imagine God. that for it, man. Uh, my eyes. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta pick somebody <laughs> next. Uh, uh, Mystic Robert, come up here and help uh, get this awkward moment out. <laughs> There's someone I recognize. Hey, uh, there, Mystic Robert. Oh, Robert. Robert. Hi, dude. Hello. 
It's my boy. What's your question, Robert? Why? Why? Hello there. <laughs> okay. Hello, Robert. Uh, my question. Uh, let me see. Oh, I got one. Um, what would you say? Like, okay. So I know with the whole concept and everything of Sonic villains being this multiverse, you know, type of thing, but. If there is something like, I don't know if you can specifically give too many details, but for this concept, what would you want to, is there more that you're cooking up? Because, yo, Aaron, my dude, I know you're always cooking up some stuff. So (laughs) if there's anything that you like, like what were some scrapped ideas that you had? And if you were given the chance to revive it, what would you want to do with it? And how would it be executed? Ooh. Like if you had the chance or the opportunity. And for everyone, mm. how's this year been? Like for uh, you guys. Just one question. Just, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Just one question, please. We don't yeah. have that. We don't have time for two. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Scrapped concepts. Oof, man. Yeah, we've we've gone through quite a bit just to kind of get to the story that we have now. I think. I don't know if anything major has necessarily been cut, but more so certain sequences may have dragged on initially for too long. Cause what I'll do is I'll have them scripted out or sound mixed um, and th- and feel personally like, okay, wait a minute, this might be going on a little longer than necessary. Um, so certain sequences, just as we go forward, um, will either have to be fitted in in a different way or, you know, just condensed to maybe just a joke, you know, um, it's, it's, it's really just a matter of like things get cut depending on how important they are to the narrative. Um, uh, that's sort of what I'm doing now. Just kind of like patterning things down. Cause I'm still, I'm, I'm the kind of person that like, I love the creative process to be very free flowing. You know, I'm a planner but at, this, at, at the same time, I still want an element of surprise myself. I still want to have moments where I'm just like, oh, idea, Eureka. And then just kind of want to like uh, follow it and see where it goes. Because we figured out a lot of really good stuff that way. Um, but it's just at the end of the day, a matter of figuring out what needs to be chopped down. Um, what needs to just be a joke or a cameo or something in the background and what needs to be the what serves the greater whole of what we're trying to do so yeah no no necessary major cuts just edits per se but yeah uh all righty uh robert does that answer your question yeah i guess so (laughs) because i don't have anything else i just don't want to take up too much time oh no you're good uh, thank Very you good. so much for the question. Yeah, and it's really a huge pleasure seeing you guys again. <laughs> I hope it, y'all will. Same. Yeah. same, same. That was so much nice fun. Nice to see you again. Nice to meet you. The revolution I know. in California. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to read out a text question from uh, Faith B. Pumpkin. Uh, how long will it take for the fan film to be made for made oh the 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 one of the many when is when is this coming out question and the I best answer i can give is i genuinely have no clear major idea other than broad strokes the broadest stroke that it, i i always say like the every day things get figured out and every day the process becomes faster because That is the act of me knowing, (laughs) simply put, you know, um, I started this in 2018 and I had, you know, I had the the broad outline of what I wanted. Um, And like like I was telling Robert, as time goes on, things get chopped up, things get condensed, things get narrower as I realize what the general core of the story really, truly is. Um, and the more people we bring on, the faster the process is the, you know, I feel like at this point, the process is faster than, than it's ever been. And it's only going to get faster because we're, we're, we're darn near close to, to finishing up the script, at least on my end. You know, I, I just have like goo gobs of documents 
that's, that are just like sitting and just like waiting to be finalized. And the moment I'm just like, OK, I can I, I'll tie the, I'll tie this up and then we send it off to the actors and then they you know can work that magic. Uh, and and by that point, everything is smooth sailing because I'm the primary artist. So the moment the actors do their thing, that's it. I'm off like lightning. That's it, it's over. I'm just, you know, so it doesn't take much. It does not take much. Uh, so broad answer. I'm not entirely sure, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be. It, it ain't going to it be. It's not going to be a Yandere dev situation. Let me say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. oh goodness oh my god <laughs> answer your the question take, the movie will take 20 years <laughs> 20 years because I'm working on like one singular model of, of, of a toothbrush yeah oh, <laughs> oh, yes. uh, alright then uh, I'll go ahead and read the next text question uh, let's see from Cookie Star, they say, maybe this was already answered, but what would you, what, sorry, what would you say would be the most favorite part about this project? By the way, huge fan of everyone's work and performances. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Let's just, I guess, let's just make this short so we can, so everybody else can say something. Um, just yeah. favorite part of this project, uh, just. Being able to work with with so many people and just to learn and to grow as an artist and a person in the process of doing so, I, I think that's the greatest gift that this project has, has given me. Just the ability to grow beyond myself and just develop more as a human being. It's, it's, this project is the gift that keeps on giving because it just makes me stronger. <laughs> uh, uh, and go for popcorn. Hey. Yeah, we're popcorning. Let's go. <laughs> um, my oh favorite my part is it's it's corny and cheesy, but it's honestly the friends I've made. Yeah, like I mean? genuinely yeah. like love these guys. The guys, these guys are we are Sonic villains. Friends. Perhaps the real yeah. movie, perhaps the real Sonic villains was the friends we made along the way. We made it along the way. See, <laughs> see, Teddy said the same <laughs> thing. Nova's brought. <laughs> <laughs> Nova could just said the exact same thing in chat. We're literally on like the same like wavelength right now. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, he gets it though. He gets it. It's the friends we made along the way, and I 100 percent agree. Are we all like evil because of this statement? <laughs> we're gonna rob a bank. I'm so down for that. I got the car loaded. <laughs> like, oh. I also okay. adore um. Ariane's uh, drawing style as well. So that's also a huge plus. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, uh, Shibo, you go. Favorite part of villains? Um, yeah. Okay, I haven't been on the project for too, too long, but I do know as, as an outsider looking in from like a couple years ago, I, I saw this project. I saw all these awesome people and all these awesome things happening, and I saw this awesome animation. And I'm like, how can. I in any way contribute to this. And then, you know, when I saw the opportunity or I was like, oh, mostly, I'm like, I get to work with a thousand people. It's so cool. And then it happens. And I, and I get to talk to you guys and I get to hang out and I get to see the progress that happens. And it's, it's really just like getting to hang out, you know, see the pro progress, make something happen and have fun while doing it. Really? You know, enough said, enough said. <laughs> Absolutely. Totally agree. Uh, is, uh, Aaron, did you say something? Uh, no, I did not yet. Um, oh man. So I obviously, Anjo, I, I was, I was feeling that same energy, just meeting you all and being able to, uh, form such strong bonds. I mean, um, ask any of my personal friends, you will know that I am very awkward, very reserved. I tend to be on my own. It takes me forever to open up. But as soon as I met all of you in person, like it was like we'd known each other forever. Like we were just old friends catching back up again. It was just incredible to be able to, to have that connection with you guys. And it's such a genuine love and passion for this project, for the people involved, for everything that we contribute, whether it's the voice work, the artwork, heck, even the bloopers that we do are just so yep, much fun. Yep. And 
I can never think of something better than that. I mean, just going to the Sonic Revo uh, in June w- when I was in a, a bad place from grad school. I mean, that was just you guys lifted me out and made me see my potential. And I'll always forever be grateful for that. Of course, dude. That's a sweet answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we only have about 20 minutes left in the panel so we will have to speed through but to this yeah yeah we're gonna worry we have like 20 minutes left so we have to actually speed it up a little bit oh so, yeah we're, we're gonna get more people to uh ask questions on stage i think it's my uh, turn to pick the next wait hold on hold on uh did everyone get a chance to answer i didn't oh i don't think uh, i did Wait, no, I did. Yeah. My favorite part yeah. is all the parts I'm in. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you heard here, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just really like, uh, I guess like a lot of people are, at least from what I've seen, kind of quick to say, uh, oh, you know, oh, yeah, but the Sonic fandom sucks. But no, there's also a lot of like just really <laughs> talented, you know, passionate people on here. And uh, Sonic Villains is very uh, evident of that. And I just think like, Wow, that's cool. There's a lot of, you know, people uh leaving their handprint or fingerprint or whatever on this and that's that's very cool to me. I like it. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Uh I think that covers everybody, right? <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, doodles. All right. All right. Uh Dolius, go ahead and pick the next person either right. audio or text. I'm going to be picking audience. Uh Hatmaster 777. You're the lucky cont- uh, lucky audience member to come up. Oh, ask your question, Mike. Oh, joy, oh, joy. What do I get, sir? Hi, hi, uh, me tunes. Hi, and Joe. Hi, boss. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, he's, uh, he's on my <laughs> I know that guy. He's my boss. Oh, Sonic Alder coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> He's really good. All right, Sonic Alder right, right. coming in and date. All right. Uh, what's your question? I have a, a pretty broad question, I, I guess, for the project head. And um, y- you can answer it however you want to, or you can not answer it at all. But I'm curious. A- as far as you're allowed to disclose, what had to have been cut for the film? Whether it be characters, moments, action scenes, songs, cameos, whatever, what mm. that you Ooh, can okay. tell us has been cut or removed. Mm. Let's see. I think I can share. I think I can share something. Let me I'm, I'm going to sneakily go into the into our development server itself and I'm going to look. Mm, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz I I think <laughs> So I think um, one of the things I think very, very early on, I think there was a there was an initial idea that the whole film or at least the the whole film would be back to back with 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 like musical numbers like Hmm. like it would be like a like somewhat of a somewhat of a musical or musical esque in nature. I tampered in like 2019 with like a slew of different songs. And I, I, I think eventually you guys will probably be able to see it. I could probably dig up what I recorded. Just kind of like scratch stuff, scratch like dialogue or scratch uh, audio of what that could have been. There was a scene I was thinking about, and maybe we could probably retool this at some point. Maybe not. But there was one sequence I remember really enjoying where in the middle of a big like ambush fight between our main cast and the villains, Scourge drags Sonic into the special zone via a warp ring. And he just starts rapping while he beats the crap out of Sonic (laughs) and the environment and the environment gets really abstracted because they're in the special zone. So everything gets really trippy. And and it, it was it was like. Let me see if I can remember exactly what I what I have written down. Let me see. That's something like, all right, let's make this short. I ain't got much time. I'm about to beat you to a bloody pulp. You'll be mine. Don't get it twisted. I enjoy this little team dynamic. But when it comes to making you sleep, well, I'm the hammock. You better bow to me now. Mm. Do this. Get no. 
I'm here to the king, baby. I'm breaking the mold. And this is Donald mm. be the only speech running around. The only thing you'll be good at is sticking low to the ground. And how's that sound? Wiki, wiki, wiki. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> that like was that. so awesome. So who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll still find a way to you know. Again, I'm I'm always interested in going back to older ideas and seeing if it works. I think initially I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know, that's too corny. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if Landy would want to rap <laughs> of all things. <laughs> I just <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'll be down to ask him again, <laughs> just in case. Because I mean, it's not singing, so maybe if you're down with it, but Max, I, if you're down with it, let, let me know. If you're down for Scourge to spit some bars while he's beating the snot out of Sonic, let me know. I just love the idea of of, of Scourge pulling an oogie boogie and and rapping about how much he's going to kill this person. Uh, all right, all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, uh, we do have to get going. We have to keep going. Oh uh, yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for answering. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Talk to you later, man. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Before we go, uh, B-Tubes, you have something you wanted to show here, right? I have a few things, actually. So, um, specifically um, when it's tied to uh, me and uh, Raina Rooney, um, we wanted to reveal, you know, we have a lot of little special previews or, or cameos, and, you know, and things that we want to kind of inject into this thing um and when we when we open up the idea that sonic is this broad franchise with literally anything and everything attached to it and we the floodgates really open because we really can just do anything we can put anything that has sonic in it within the film whether it be as a small joke or a little you know a little nod one of the little things i'm very excited about is the Wreck It Ralph sequence? So <laughs> let me pull out some concept art first and foremost of kind Drum of what roll, we're playing. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in the stage room text. It's in the stage room text, but so here's kind of what we're we're cooking for uh, the the visualization of 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 the Wreck It Ralph sequence. It's a very short, very sweet gag. Um, but I figured like, Hey, this is a universe with a Sonic in it. Wouldn't it be funny if we just kind of went in there very quickly, ever so quickly. And just kind of like through, through Ralph and Vanellope for a loop real quick. Um, so, um, unfortunately I wasn't able to get the storyboards for this sequence, um, uh, properly finalized for this event. I'll, I'll probably have it out a little later. Um, but I can share, uh, some of what uh, Arena um, did for like as like test footage for Vanellope because she's Vanellope and I'm Ralph. Um, so you know, as for Ralph, you know, I can kind of you know oh pretty easy God. to do this voice. You know, it's pretty it's easy. <laughs> you know, it's Ralph. <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah, it's totally perfect. <laughs> Why, well, no, thank God. you, Booger Brain. Uh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Yeah, Very good. Who are these people talking? Get them off of the audience. They're not supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't I, push I them. Like your, them. Your guys' range is crazy, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is a right, tonal, thank like, you. That was like a tonal whiplash. Yes, thank you. I do try my best. Yeah. So here's here's some of our uh, Aaron's test footage. Uh, uh, right here as Vanellope. It was really cute because we got some scenes from like some audio from like Disney Infinity or whatever, and we wanted to see if she would like be able to match that because she had done a little bit of it before, and it was really good. And the moment I figured, hey, let's do this, and I thought about Erin because her voice is naturally kind of raspy, and what do you know? It was exactly what I was looking for. So here's the booger brain in action. Did something die and start to rot, or <laughs> you. your ability that stinks? Wow. Saying. <laughs> okay, and uh, there we go for a little bit. I love that. I love that. <laughs> that, was that was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 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 the, yeah the, the moment we realized we could do that and we could pull these voices off, I was like, we got to do this. We just have to. <laughs> Just make a whole section dedicated. We <laughs> 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 did like the sound. Well, I did the sound mix for it too, and 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 Arena just gave me her her uh, 
takes on Vanellope's lines. It's it's really short. It's like umpteen seconds. We're making it the funniest and, and coolest umpteen seconds imaginable. And uh, I just think it'll be really cool when you guys see how it's fully animated and everything. Uh, yeah, we can't wait to see it, um, too. I know you guys are all putting in your uh-huh. hard work, so it'll be it, it'll pay off once we see the big um, reveal. Let's Absolutely. just say it's a real game changer, right, Ralph? <laughs> I thought we weren't going to do those jokes. It was terrible. <laughs> oh my what god! Right. <laughs> you could that say right. it'll break the me? internet. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I get it. You talk about you that me, film the better. Me, <laughs> all right. Uh, is that all you wanted to show us, or is there any more that you need to show us? Uh, let me see. Is it time? I think it's time. Well, okay. So we have. Two more things. Uh, two more things specifically. Um, I know there's a lot of people that want to be a part of the project, and you know, as we see, as you see, we we brought on uh, uh, Shibu and and um, specifically because we have a very special guest with us, and through that guest, we've been able to create a sequence that is specifically geared towards. The very thing that the Sonic fandom loves to do, and that's give their opinions specifically on <laughs> on who and or what Sonic is. Um, so we're we've been going around the community, just kind of emailing and messaging people within the fandom, who and what is Sonic to you? And we give them complete freedom to give them an answer that is that is you know specific to them. They can be a funny answer. It can be a genuinely serious answer. It can be a, oh, this guy, uh, he ran through my crops one time and I'll never forgive him. That sort of thing. Just whatever. The reason we're able to do the sequence is because I'm happy to announce that we have community newsman Sam procrastinates himself on board the project as a newscaster. Uh, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> we have him on. He's he's got his own little news station called Sam Jam Reports where he talks about anything and everything related to Sonic. He's like J. Jonah Jameson, except he actually loves the hero. (laughs) I love that. So through him, (laughs) let me see if we can, where is that little, who is Sonic? Here we go. So this is the thing that we kind of send to everybody that we contact, uh, that we go into contact with. If any of you guys have like an answer as to what Sonic is to you, whether it be to your OC or to you personally, and you want to voice it, absolutely go for it and and just send it to me uh, via Discord or on the Sonic vil- or through the Sonic Villains uh, uh, Twitter DMs. Um, however, however you can, uh, I'll I'll take I'll take your responses and I'll I'll find a place to put them in the film. And if you have an OC too, uh, share a reference. Um, to what that OC is, because I'd love to animate them to your voice if that is something you would like. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is actually really big. Mm-hmm. Sure. I think we also have a little bit of what uh, Anjo and Nate uh, and, and uh, Skrillo have also done so far that I can just share. Just to give you a small little idea of what we've been Sonic? Oh my God, in the back. I didn't know you actually got around to an- doing an animatic of this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you didn't see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted it in, the, in our little sound mix uh, area. But yeah, yeah. I you guys missed can take that. A look at that. <laughs> so did I. Okay. But yeah, you guys can take a look at that and just see how it's kind of edited and cut together. Obviously, this is a small animatic. The animatic isn't finished. I do not think. And we still have a few other things to factor in. But basically, that's sort of how it'll be edited and, and cut together within the sequence that we're planning it for. Uh, you can see we got our we got a uh, Ceci on on board. Uh, the, uh, Miss the Chaos Spirit herself. Uh, Skrilla was voicing her OC there. Um, for the planet, I so yeah, yeah, just really, really fun sequence. This is just one of the many ways we want to get the fandom involved in this big love letter. Do everything. All right, all right. Um, yeah, this is actually really. Ambiguous for you, dudes. 
<laughs> I love this idea so much. Yeah, we can't wait I to see it. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to just keep getting more submissions and just seeing how how far it goes. And if we can't fit everybody's responses in to this particular sequence, because obviously you know pacing has to be accounted for, um, we can always put. We, I, I have some. I have more ideas of where we can put it. Trust me. Um, and stop. And if you're going to Sonic Expo, you'll see. You'll, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. I have an idea that I think will be really fun too. <laughs> just to get people involved. To scare you. Yeah, you, no one smile. No one smile. Be very afraid. No one smile. No one smile. I hope you get like Games Cage on this section. He just like rips his shirt off and screams, hope, and that, it just I like hard so. cuts away. You know what? I contacted him, and he and he and he said he was down. It's just a matter of time for him. He's a busy dude. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, they're asking where uh, you want the uh, OCs sent. By the way. Oh yeah, same as same as the the dialogue, um, same as the dialogue and audio. You can send it to me via uh, Discord here or or through the Sonic Villains uh, Twitter DMs. Uh, I'll be looking. All throughout this week and beyond, uh, now that this is out there in the open, we just want to get as many responses as possible because I, I, I think this would be a really fun thing to do. <clears throat> I'll take your offer on that. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you can send your because like now if you have an idea. Like it literally, there's no there's no time limit on this. <laughs> Ooh, all right, sounds exciting. Nice, nice. Uh, is. We have like about three more minutes before the panel ends. So, uh, just what do we do for the like? Uh, is there anything else you want to see, like really quick, or is that all? There is one thing. It's it's. I'm I'm still rendering it literally, like as we speak. I don't know if it'll be available within the moment um, that we're still going on, but it will be available for everyone in the chat uh, after this is done. Um, I'll, I'll post it within the Aries, um, stage zone. You guys have seen on, on Twitter. I, I, uh, shared a little preview of what we're cooking with for, uh, for Scourge, uh, for his introduction into the story. Every, every character, every villain, uh, primarily within our story has a little introduction one way or another, whether it be a big one, um, that just feels like it came straight from, the TV show or, or OVA that it, that that it originated from, or it's something like Scourge and uh, Sally Acorns, um, featuring King Acorn. Uh, Nate, wink, 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 nudge, nudge. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that also uh, that just kind of very snappily, very Spider Verse esque introduces you to who the characters are and gives you a recap for fans who aren't familiar or fans who need a bit of a refresh on just who these characters are, what they're about, and where they've been since we last saw them. Because a lot of the series that we're dealing with have either been canceled or have properly ended. So I figured newer and old audiences need a bit of a refresher. So for Scourge, we're doing that in the most fun Hobie Brown-ish way possible. <laughs> Um, and I'm having a lot. I've been having so much fun working on this sequence, just just really bringing out the bad boy in in Scourge. And Landy, of course, kills it just totally. Um, all right, uh, we are out of time right now. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming for this panel. Uh, give a round of applause to all of our panelists as we speak. You guys Yay. for coming. Oh, thank you so so much. Much. You all did great. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, You're thank wonderful. You all coming out <laughs> and listening to us. Can't wait to see y'all again ramble. soon. Thank you Someone to all our base teammates. Villain pilled. Mm, <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah, that, yeah, that's Kiza, who is also on our soundtrack as a vocalist. <laughs> Hi, Kiza. Oh, crap, buddy. <laughs> Realistic. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. I recognize you. Sorry. My brain's like failing. <laughs> All right. I Next think. panel that's going to come up right now will be the QA with Adrenaline Dubs. Hey, our guys. Yahoo! That'll be hosted by uh, Noah, aka Yoshi Tales, and Dr. Yeah. Kelly. 
Mm-hmm. All, right, so and- awesome. All right. Again, thank you guys so much. The Scourge Pre is on the way. It is literally just rendering right now. Not every um not everything is fully boarded. Jeez, my my perfectionist brain, but I think it'll be a good enough idea to to give you guys uh, a little exclusive before the rest of the world does. Mm-hmm. All right, then I actually do have to get to another panel, so I will see you all another time. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Have a good Bye. one, you all. Thank you. All righty. Try the eggnog. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you all later. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Hey, sit down, shut up, and let me cut this short. The name's Scourge. And yeah, you could say me and the multiverse ain't exactly friends per se. The runt of the litter around these parts like calling me Evil Sonic. Anti Sonic. Can't imagine why. Think fast, bitches! <laughs> With my speed and a leg up on the royal ladder, I took over my entire planet. Took down any prissy punks who dared disobeying me. And made anarchy my one way or the highway. And to think, through all that, I was still a nobody. A cheap knockoff of the real Sonics across time and space. A dull flash in a pan of big blue whips. I needed a change and a total royal makeover. Yeah, baby! Ha 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 ha! Stay away from the Master Emerald! Ah! A quick trip to my blue alternate's goody-goody dimension, a magic power boost, and a little setback later. Oh yeah, I was a freaking beast. And when the Sonic connected to me tried stepping up to my plate, Super Scourge showed him a thing or two. Didn't last very long, though. Got me thrown into fucking multiverse prison. But with my gang of crooks busting me out and licking the zone cops off my tail, we were staking on big plans for the Sonic of my line and his pigs. The, uh, keyword being were.